the very end when I'm talking about my grandmother, my grandma May, and you know, old school, like Irish Catholic grandma. And when I was younger in my 20s and not going to mass, my grandmother would say, I'd go visit her and she would say, Reedy, did you go to mass? I was like, no, I'm sorry, grandma. And she would say, what's one hour a week for God? He does so much for you. And I used to tease her because she would always say that same thing every single time. But she had such a faith. She had felt that God had been so good to her. And I, I knew what I knew what she had suffered. And I knew that she had suffered a lot, including the loss of a child. And it, it was so much. So she had sort of been like, and her death had changed me so much. So that's what sort of started me on the path to thinking about, you know, being loved and receiving. But I think, you know, talking about the Psalms and I talked about like 139 being, and that one, that full one, I, I claim that full on 139 beginning to end, no matter what. And the idea that is expressed in there is that from, from the second I've been conceived all the way through my life to the end, God is alongside me but the way that is written is just so beautiful like you know even if i you know went to the end of the earth god would be there and god's in my bones and this idea of being accompanied no matter what even when i don't feel it that's what i think is the key is to trust that it's there even if i don't feel it but i think because i did let myself grieve the loss of my family and my marriage and all the changes that came about, like with facing mortality with cancer and then the worry of it coming back based on my own genetic predispositions, it just sort of emptied me out to receive. I, I, I think that humility of being in a human body, I had always been very a daydreamer. I'm still a daydreamer, but I had never really been as present here as when I got sick and had pain and had to be here and had to fight for my life, um, all of that. So the weird gift in that is that it kind of cleaned me out to receive. It wasn't about my thoughts anymore. It was about that gift of desperation and being able to receive just a God who is just really, I mean, it really is about the love. And I think because I'd struggled with unworthiness and low self-esteem for so many years, long, 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 long time, that it, it was like a barrier to receiving the love. And all those things happened to me at the same time, everything just got broken apart. And then to put myself back together, there was an emptiness that that could be filled. I am grateful for that. I wouldn't wish it on anybody, but I am grateful for how I was able to handle it and navigate it. Um, it was very clear to me that if I didn't hang on tight to God, I was not gonna make it. That That's the truth. I wasn't gonna make it. And so there's a humility in that, like, wow, I, I really need this. If there are people that can go through their lives, you know, without a spirituality or, or without prayer, that's their choice. But I do not live like that. And I, it kind of comes back to Francis and Claire, the level of devotion and love and openness. I'm curi curious to try that more and more and more and more. So I've been doing this for years and living like this for years. Putting it out there into the world is, um, a risk except for the fact like I I don't I'm not trying to convince anybody of anything you know it's like I respect whatever you believe that's fine I'm not trying to change your mind about anything but I do have a really deep faith and I'm very curious to see where it can even go from here I'm still curious kind of nosy even <laughs> like where is it going to go and I think receiving that, receiving the trust so that I can continue with this journey. I do want to, I do want to stay on this path. I do want to keep looking for guidance 
and wisdom and instruction and praying and being open. I, I want to see where this is going to go, even though it's very scary sometimes. <laughs>